Hey, hi everybody, this is Dan here. And I want to talk to you today about the um, problems that I've had with the border model, the very first model, uh, the Panzer IV LCFG mid to late uh, two in one. It's this one here, okay? Um, okay, let me show you the, the model as far as I've got it so far. So, there you go. You can see it on its face, and I've taken some photographs. You think, oh, yeah, well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And you know what? The detail in some of it is pretty darned impressive. In fact, it's very impressive. So, you know, let's not be sort of saying that the model's a pile of crap, because it isn't. But the instructions made it, re at least for me, um, pretty difficult to, to get together... Um, and certainly get together quickly. I mean, it took some parts took forever. So anyway, let's let's just um, just talk about the parts for a bit. There are a couple of things that are fairly obvious with this thing. And um, look, okay, so I've got some pieces missing off the back there. And that's you know the exhaust is off there because that needs painting. Spare tracks off the front; those are missing because um, they need painting separately in order to do a half reasonable job. Um, but I'll just talk about a couple of things. The most obvious one, at least for me, is, is the tracks. Can you see there that there's, there is virtually no uh, track sag at the top? And you can say, well, okay, this is a, a vehicle in motion, therefore there would not have been so much sag, yada, yada, yada. But it is one of the things that, you know, us armor modelers really like to see if we can, okay? Now, part of the reason for this is because the, the track count beyond the length length and link link and length whatever you call it just didn't make sense or was vague okay and it was very difficult to figure out how that was going to come together the second thing is is that as you can see here the side fenders are incredibly close to um where the track would sit and there's just no way around this and that's partly because of the fit of the side fenders into the main body of the tank there just wasn't a way around it at least not for me anyway let's put it that way um and you can say well you know what you you've not exactly got them on the best way possible have you and sure if you look at the back you know that's on the wonk in it but even so the, the clearance there is just very very small and at the back here remember this was the these these were put on separately anyway um was problematic and the road wheels these road wheels here and the return rollers here very very loose fitting so you know tracks are always an issue for, for armor builders i know um but you know these were particularly difficult having said that you know it's okay and the level of detail is pretty good quite frankly but again you know there are some obvious issues here. So, for example, top of the cupola there. You see those three indents? Believe it or not, that's where some handles are supposed to go. That's the wrong way up. But on the inside, nothing much. Um, similarly, they they ask you to put or suggest that you put stuff on the inside, but you're never going to see it unless you decide to leave this hatch open. And even then... What you see is neither here nor there. So, you know, you've got to ask yourself, did they really need to do all that stuff? You know, you can argue, well, okay, maybe they're going to do one with an interior at some point. Well, yeah, okay. But do I need the instructions for all of that right now? Okay. The answer is no. Um, but anyway, it's 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 not bad. It, it's not bad. It's not absolutely awful. But the instructions absolutely are awful. So I'm just going to talk about those and I'll see you in the next segment, okay? Okay, right at the beginning, and this has been mentioned by other modelers, you've, you're given the option of putting some so special optional parts uh, together, okay? So there's a bucket, actually there are two of them, and okay. And these additional wheels, um, not entirely sure what they're for, but there we go. Some jerry cans, okay, fine. And some um, additional tracks, some, apparently some captured T34 track, okay. Okay, fine, so, you know, 
a bit odd, but nevertheless. Now, <laughs> can anyone make sense of this? Really? And can you see the problem? I've outlined this before, but essentially what it comes down to, and this is the same all the way through these instructions, is that they don't, well, they do. Uh, the, the, the attachment points are not, they're not pointing to anything, or at least you can't see it. And the reason for that is, is because it's been done in a very, very faint yellow, at least on these instructions. Now, I do believe that they fixed this later on, but nevertheless, it is problematic um, because it's hard to figure out what what you need to do and you know the photograph doesn't really help at least not me and again you know sorry I'll just go back here because uh, I, I do need to repeat myself you have here C3 and then there's C4 okay C3 C4 same thing I suppose but hey hang on a second all of a sudden we see C4 over here as well so, you know, if you are following these instructions one by one, you're going to get confused really, really quickly. Having said that, after a while, you do start to figure out how they were thinking about this. And again, you know, um, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, over here. Okay. If you look at this on section eight you have to go this way okay <clears throat> now these are chinese instructions now i don't read chinese i've got no idea how chinese operates um does it go back to front i don't know but anyway as i say you do eventually figure out okay well this is largely the way they're doing things and maybe that's probably the best way to go. Um, and then we end up with little things like this. So, chop, chop. Oh, let's put these on. No, nah, not, hap not happening. Sorry. Um, and they've got you making the side fenders, as you can see. But they're not consistent. Two going that way. One that way, one that way. What? what, what? sorry one that way one that way what what the hell's all that about and then they've got you fitting them hmm and then oh hang on a second we've got tracks on have we have we maybe maybe not let's have a look oh we don't have tracks on <laughs> you can see i think you can see how it's like what um oh and we're back to the the t34 track which refers back to that very very first page if you remember so you know we're going back and forth and then hang on a second we're putting the top on are we but the top's on over here okay I get it. No, I don't. Now we're getting to tracks. But how many? Don't know. Actually do not know. Here you can count them. So it looks like eight. It's not eight. It's about ten. This side you can count it. Maybe eight, maybe nine. <sighs> uh, what is going on? And... As I've put on here, what is this? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any reason to, to fit this up because there's stuff already moulded on there. You can understand, I think, I hope anyway, how it would be easy to become frustrated. And, you know, the build kind of goes on in this way. You, you eventually figure out how things come together. Um... But I wouldn't say it's easy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, do we have anything else? There was something else that I found that drove me nuts. Let me see if I can find it again. 
Uh, let's see. No, I can't find it at the moment. Oh, uh, boy. What is it? Oh, yeah. This. The towing cables. <laughs> no part number, no fixing points. What? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, as I say, we've we finally got there. The thing, the thing about this, I'll come back to it. Okay. Okay, folks. I want to close this one out. Um, for me, there are two components that make for a great model. First is obviously styrene. We want good styrene, and um, reviewers tend to focus on on that element of it. And I, I understand that. That's that's fine. But the second element is in good, clear instructions. Without good, clear instructions, it really doesn't matter how good the styrene is. Because if you can't find a way to put things together or the instructions are unclear or what have you, then it starts to get really difficult. Now, some people will say, well, go back to your reference photos. They don't, yeah, they'll give you a clue, but they don't get you there in the same way, excuse me, that good instructions do. Um, some of you may recall that I built the Tamiya version of this and that literally just fell together. But that's Tamiya. Tamiya have absolutely nailed the, the issue of providing great instructions for their kits, regardless of what you may think about the detail. Um, others, you know, people are very critical about Dragon. I've never built a Dragon kit. Um, I may never build a Dragon kit, I don't know. But to say that this was Border Model's very first kit coming to market and the instructions were of the kind that I've shown you, you have to ask yourself, what were they thinking? Did, did they really understand the market that they were going to? Did they really think these things through? I don't know. Um, we need to be more critical about the kinds of instructions that um, kit makers provide for us because... Uh, until we do, folk like myself are going to have have problems, and um, at the end of the day, that leads to an unsatisfactory feeling and a degree of fun coming out of the uh, the hobby. And uh, you know, I'm not a professional by any stretch. I'm not even, a, you know, I'd say I'm sort of averageish. But for me, this is supposed to be a great deal of fun, and um, some of that was lost on this particular occasion. Anyway, enough of me ranting and, ra ranting and carrying on. Um, if you have different experience, then by all means share it. Take care. Happy modelling.